Hello and welcome back to Thursday Throwdown, the show where we pit two Golden Age sets against each other and you vote for the figures on our teams. This week, I am building out of Return of the King, the last installment of the Lord of the Rings trilogy, and Simeon is building out of Battle of Five Armies, the last installment of the Hobbit trilogy. Very cool. Very cool. Simeon, why don't you dive into your team? Yeah. I was going to make a pun like, Simeon, why don't you Tolkien it away? But that's not close enough to take it away. So mm. I'll pretend like I didn't say that. Uh, up first, the Great Eagle. Man, I Ooh. wish Heroclix had more Great Eagles. Sadly, this is the last Great Eagle that Heroclix will ever experience in any form or medium. Anyhow, I don't know what that could be in reference to. 70 points, no idea. transporter flight ability. He's got giant-sized exploit weakness. Uh, he's got a trait, a friend to those in need. When building your force, Great Eagle does not count against a theme team. When Great Eagle is part of a theme team and uses the carry ability, he can carry four characters. That's pretty awesome if you're building an animal theme team. I did not. Um, not a lot of animals in the Battle of Five Armies, surprisingly. Uh, he's got Aerial Combatant. He can use ESD and Super Senses for his first three clicks. Blades Exploit Top Dial. Pretty solid little guy for 70. Um, yeah, that's about it. Next up is Tariel. And there's no no image for this one because we didn't want anybody to get too excited about it. So, uh, seven range, triple lightning bolts, sharpshooter team ability, starts with running shot, energy explosion goes to running shot, uh, in cap, and then some bad stuff down line. Um, but yeah, not too bad of a figure here. We've got Born of Mirkwood, improved movement ignores hindering, ignores or improved targeting ignores characters, so that's pretty awesome. We've got the trait Conflicted Heart. When Toriel is adjacent to a friendly character named Legolas Greenleaf, that character modifies its attack by plus one if not already modified by this effect. When Toriel is adjacent to a friendly character named Keeley the Dwarf, that character modifies its damage plus one. I don't have Keeley on my team, though. Was there uh, even a Keeley in this set? Not in five armies, no. I don't think so. Uh, it would have had it been the Desolation of Smog, I think. Yeah, I don't think there was any dwarves in this maybe. set, except for Thorin, maybe. Yeah. But all right, sorry, keep going. Uh, special defense in the middle dial. She can use Super Senses and Willpower, Daughter of the Forests. Pretty decent. Yeah. Uh, points are quite a bit high for the five clicks long that she is, but um, I imagine back when... Energy explosion was ruled. You did the damage equal to your bolts. It was probably almost worth it. Ooh, yeah. That would be solid. Way back in that day. Uh, next up, we got Legless Greenleaf. Orlando Bloom. Ooh, pretty man. Uh, seven range, two lightning bolts. Starts with charge, which two lightning bolts actually works with charge now, so that's not a bad option. Uh, blades, sharpshooter team ability. Leadership, Super Senses top dial, goes into some sidestep, some range mid dial, which is always a weird thing to go close range, close range. Uh, yeah. Improved movement characters, though, pretty sweet. And then he's got the Orcist blade. So Legolas Greenleaf may begin the game with the Orcist assigned to him, but it didn't come in this set, so I didn't do that, which is fine. I don't even remember what it did, like, some sort of blades thing it was um, blades yeah yeah he's one of my few characters actually i think my only character with a support power down dial and that's perplex so we'll see if he actually gets to use that uh and then following or filling out the team is two of the mirkwood guards these guys are mm. trash just <laughs> just take a look at their dial 47 points seven range Starts with Leap Climb, two clicks of Stealth, and then finally one click of Running Shot all the way down on click four, and some Energy Explosion. Um, printed blocking terrain adjacent to Merkwood Guards can't be destroyed by ranged combat attacks. That's definitely a power he has. I uh, don't even really know what to say about it. But the nine for two is... It's not the worst thing. I do have Tariel with a Enhancement top dial, so there's that. Um, but they're not getting anywhere super fast. 
they're just leap climbing and then standing guard until they can shoot something. Uh, improved targeting, outdoor blocking. So that might be a thing. I don't know. Uh, and then yeah. I have another, a second great eagle um, on my team. And that, that fills out the team. Right. 500 uh, so points with on a team Merkwood <laughs> keyword. That Merkwood theme team. I can't believe you had such good figures in your set, like uh, the Iron Hill Dwarf. I remember enjoying and playing that a lot. I thought he was like the best generic in that whole set. And yet you got to vote for the Merkwood, the Elfie Boys. I'm not an elf fan, but anyways, Aragorn, uh, the King of Man, the man guy, Mountain Pass. He ignores hindering terrain. That's really helpful under the new rules. Very cool. Uh, he's already rocking the new defense symbol. So Aragorn really was ahead of his time. Uh, he has a epic action trait. Uh, give Aragorn an epic action. Choose up to one friendly character with a lower point value or with a shared keyword for each 200 points of the build total. Place those characters in squares adjacent to Aragorn. So we can sort of, I don't know, teleport some people towards him. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Uh, he has another trait, which is put it put aside the ranger. Give Aragorn a free action and choose one. Blades, Claws, Fangs, Flurry, Ranged Combat Expert with range value 7 or Super Senses. Aragorn can use the Chosen Power until he cho uses his ability again. Uh, really awesome. If you notice, they're all red powers. Huh. How neat is that? So Strange. Uh, he does get a range value of 7 with that, which is cool. So you might want to take some pot shots. Bump. It's the only way to bump his damage up to a 3, of course, unless you do Blades. But Super Senses is not bad, especially... Since he's got charge and stealth. So he's got stealth, combat reflexes, super senses top dial. And you're like, Calder, what gets better than charge, combat reflexes, and super senses top dial? And I'll tell you, his damage power is leadership. When he does, if he doesn't succeed, he can use shape change until he uses leadership again. So that's right. He's got super senses, shape change, combat reflexes, and stealth. If you you know, if you fail your leadership. It's like, yeah, that's that's pretty awesome. Very oddly, oddly solid being 130 points as a odd you know an oddly good amount of sticking around he's got some outwit too which is pretty cool mm. but if uh we scroll down a little bit check out the comment section uh a bit of a finesse piece but really nasty no not really pretty straightforward to be honest with you uh but okay choosing powers can sometimes take a few more brain cells than you know Anyways, uh, let's just go ahead, jump into Mr. Mr. White here, Mr. Mr. Gandalf the White. Uh, 195 points. He's got Sharpshooter. He also has the boot for carry, seven range Mystics. He has an epic action. My eyes see the path. Whoa. Give Gandalf the White an epic action and choose one opposing character within eight squares and a lower point value and up to one friendly character for every 300 points of the build total. Remove an action token from each chosen friendly character and give the chosen opposing character an action token, which is pretty cool. So I can basically just give you my action tokens, which is neat. So uh, his other trait is the board is set, the pieces are moving. Like, yeah, Gandalf, that is how this works, which is basically you could have played him at 65 points. Um, but nope, we're playing him at 195. That little red line is where he would have died originally if he was only 65 points. He has a special speed power, which is also a stop click. If this click is revealed due to damage taken from an opponent's attack, stop turning the dial. Gandalf the White can't be dealt damage until your next turn. Gandalf the White can use Charge Flurry. Uh, and this power can't be ignored. It can, however, be countered. So it is something to note. And then he has a special, it says, attack power right here. The White Wizard, which is kind of spattered throughout his dial. Uh, free action, choose one standard damage power from this character card. For each action token he is assigned, chosen powers can be used until your next turn. So pretty sweet. He can use whatever damage power he normally has. And then also on these clicks, he can use another damage power. Uh, and you might have two action tokens. So you could use all three. I guess not all three, but you can use three of his four damage powers. Or, you know, if he has one token, you know, pretty cool. So I like I like Skandalf. He's neat. Pretty neat, I'd say. Then we have Faramir coming up, coming up next. Faramir here uh, is very is very cool looking. Anyways, fighting at the gates, he also ignores hindering terrain. Awesome. Thanks, Faramir. 
Uh, he has he's still alive once per game when Faramir would be dealt damage you may give him an action token if you do ignore that damage dealt instead wow very awesome love this power yeah that's pretty uh, and then he has a special speed power on a couple of his clicks which is charge and power and stealth which is just gnarly so him and I don't know if it's his is if Aragorn's his brother or whatever I have no idea if they're just like buddies together but they're like some stealthy, chargey boys that go very well together. I like them a lot. So, moving on, we have the Gondorian soldier who's like Faramir, but just worse because he's not a named character. He has Army of the Free People as his trait. Once at the beginning of your first turn, for all from the characters this trait, you may ch you may choose attack or defense values. All from the characters modify that plus one this game, so he's only going to affect himself. Speedball here asks, uh, so does it stack? If I do it, and then Vlad three the Impaler very kindly says no because it's once for all characters the trait, not once for each individually. Isn't that just great? HD Realms is very helpful, and Vlad got to it the same day, November eighteenth, twenty fourteen. He on answered the ball, it the same yeah. day. So what a good guy on the ball, yeah. Very impressive, most impressive. Uh, but yeah, so he'll be able to get probably plus one attack this whole game because defense, no one cares. And then it's his friendly characters named. Gendarian soldier can use prison strike, but he's not going to be adjacent to himself now, is he? Last and probably least here, we have Herodrim, who uh, improved targeting Norse characters, which is good. Six range, uh, men of Herod. This does not help me at all, but when he's adjacent to a friendly character named Muma Kill or targeting a character on a lower elevation, uh, Herodrim deals penetrating damage when making a ranged combat attack. So he's trying to shoot down at people to get that sweet, sweet penetrating damage off. So it's pretty neat. He's okay. He's 10 for 2. Were those the elephant things? sidestep action. The Mumma kill. I can't remember. I, I, I think so, right? Those are the I, elephant pogs we had? Mm, something like that, yeah. Yeah. He needs an erratic. But already then. The other character's name is Mumma kill Mahood, and not only Mumma kill. Oh, so he wouldn't even work as you Exactly. Written. Wow. We wow, wouldn't have worked wow. with the Mama Kill Mahu. Not the guy that's in not the guy that's in this set. Yeah. Here we are. We're playing on Arthur's Castle since neither of these sets actually have a, a map. Not, neither of these sets had starting starter sets. So for some reason they they really did not send the Tolkien finales off in a bang. They just kind of like, all right, here's the last one, I yeah. guess. They're like, so, we yeah. gotta wrap this up. Singing one one map roll so he's it's his go all right we are playing a 500 point game and i do have leadership so i'll be able to take six actions will i need them no um my great eagles can go 11 and with the new carry rules i don't modify for carrying anybody so i think I'm going to go to, like, the highest elevation with this one just to really strike fear in Calder. So we'll go, we'll go up here. Drop my... Shaking in my boots. My leggy loss right there. Uh, mm. I suppose I'll give him an action for that. Uh, let's just have the other one join... <laughs> Bring my Tariel along with. I guess she can go here. And then the Murky Boys, the Murky Brothers, are gonna leap and climb. Because that's what they do. <laughs> they leap and climb. Um, nine whole squares. So we will just put them both right there. And I'm sure that they'll do something wonderful there. All right. That is, I believe, everything I can do in a single turn. ESD, Ooh, super very nice. Very nice. Leadership. Yeah, Calder can't destroy the blocking terrain. These blocking terrains, because of my murky boys, he won't be able to shoot those. So really good placement on my part. Go ahead and pat myself on the back. Yeah, that's my turn. That is genius. Yeah, I'm going to move Mr. Harry Drum here. One, two, three, four. Just gonna, we're going to toss him. 
tossing him there. Gandalf can carry, so him is going to go a whole six squares because he only has seven speed right here. Uh, sure. You can Gandalf to here, placing Faramir right there, or Faramir. I think I made the same joke when I played a, a Faramir before with the mirror being the, yeah. Um, for some reason, the Gondorian soldiers have an eight speed of sidestep. Oh, I guess I have to choose at the beginning of the game. They'll, they'll have plus one attack. They're going for that big boy plus one attack. Um, so they're just going to go one, two. Mm. We go eight to here. And we'll sidestep to there. Aragorn is going to choose super senses because we don't want to forget to do that. Uh, and that's just a free action for whenever, although he did forget to roll for leadership. We're just going to move him there. And we'll say it's Simeon's turn. Very interesting. Quite, quite very interesting. Um... Mm, yes, yes. <laughs> Let's see. Might as well roll leadership with good old leggy loss. No. He doesn't get anything when he fails leadership. He just kind of sucks. He's a failure. Yeah. I don't know. Can I, can I see that square? Almost looks like I can, but I don't think so. I think it clips the blocking. No, it just goes into the, yeah. The blick block blocking terrain. Let's see here. Um, I Merkwood guards are rocking that nine attack. Nothing special right now. So I think, let me double check what, uh, what's her name, Tariel can do. Triple lightning bolt, energy explosion, it's not bad, it's just not great. I ignore hindering terrain, not great. Um... Man. Just not a lot of good happening right now. Uh, Legolas does have the the transporter team ability, so he could potentially hypersonic make a ranged attack with a minus two to attack. So he could go like here and shoot down one of those three. Um, and if he takes Tariel along with him, or she just goes there first, then it's a plus one to his attack. So. That's not a terrible option. I think I'm gonna start with the eagles though. They make the most sense. I've got charge, blades, and exploit. So let's see, who's our biggest threat over here? What is this guy? Aragorn, okay. We'll go after that guy first. You will try. We will we will charge to here with eagle number one. And we'll get a solid ten attack with blades. Alright, so you're going to nineteen. That'll miss. Uh the other eagle. Let's go after the shiny, shiny boy. Mm. Go right here. Now you need to roll that six. Oh, 
there's my nine. Got it. You got it. And I'll be rolling for blades. Three whole damage. Exploit, you said? Yes, exploit. All right, puts him on click four. All right. Um... I think these guys, one of these guys should do something. That's the direct diagonal, seven range, shooting down. I can see Gandalf and potentially Faramir. Uh, yeah, this one here will There's a giant it. in your way. A giant? Oh, that's right, my eagle. My eagle blocked my own target. Why would he do that? Um, I do ignore... Uh, I don't know why you would do that. You know what, though? Especially since he has... Arrows dive like oh, falcons. Yeah? Improved targeting ignores... Ah! Blocking terrain. I completely forgot about that, so... Darn, so did a, I uh... with my positioning. <laughs> we I absolutely forgot about that. Here. Um, and we went over our teams in depth right before the start. <laughs> uh, mere moments ago. Uh, so I think, yeah, both of these guys are going to take a shot at uh, Harry Drum, whoever that is. With my solid nine for two. See if I can even do anything here. Oh, I'm only at 17. 17. So that will hit. That will hit. Um, do I have anything? No. I'll take two damage. I'll go to click three. I'm now 16 with ESD, however. Ah, so I'll need a nine for the second one. And that was not even close mm. to a nine. Um, let's see. What is Tariel's speed? I don't think she's getting anywhere. Five speed with... So it's 10 down to 5. She could get here and shoot down from a higher elevation. There's uh, an eagle in your way. Does it block from higher elevation? Do I shoot over it? I don't know. I don't either. No, you'd be fine like here, though. No, or is it pinching? Yeah, that's yeah, another thing. Is that corner. It's pinching. Sorry. Yeah, yeah. I don't. I don't. It's not a ledge, or it's not an edge of the uh, elevated. So I don't actually think that works. Right, right. Um, I think she'll just move to here. I hate that term next so much. I hate pinching. I hate pinching. And then I'll call that okay. my turn. That that looks fine. Mm. Looks fine. We're gonna have Aragorn roll leadership this time. He gets it. I guess fine we'll take a token off gandalf a character who we're totally fine having tokens on but we'll just well whatever oh well, i guess we'll do it i guess we'll succeed at leadership fine um everyone's in a pretty good spot right now gandalf is in an okay spot right now i think we have no a way to get out with Unless we'll, we can't push. That reminds me. Uh, we'll roll four willpower on the Gondorian guard. He does not get it. He does not get it. He will just open us up with a nine attack blades, claws, fangs against the eagle. Ooh, that's got to miss. There's no way. A 14. It's no, so, it yeah. Not. My eagles have a mighty 17 super senses and ESD. Good thing I used close combat with wow. both of them. We're going to sidestep here with Harry Drum. And we'll go ahead and shoot at one of the Mirkwood guards right there. We are you, 10 you attack. We'll just say the, the, the red one. Just so you know. I, you I won't. Trust me, I okay. won't. Okay. I, I also can't because I don't have a 3D damage. Uh, does a 16 hit the red murky boy? It should, sure might. Uh, I've got super senses, though. Oh, it might. Okay, yes, might. it does. For how much damage? Two whole damage. Going to click three. Two. Dose. Yeah. 
did not change my dial, except now you can destroy that blocking there. Uh, I have enhancement mm. instead. Still Just a high. nine for two. We're going to have Gandalf. Uh, he'll take a swing on this great eagle, I suppose. He is a, a 10 attack, I believe. Mr. The White. Yeah, he's a 10 attack. Two damage, top dial. Ah, that'll hit a 17. 17 is the magic number. Super senses. No. All right, you got it. So now that Gandalf has a whatever we would call it, now that he has an action token, he will free, choose a different uh, damage power on his card. That would be outwit. He's going to outwit the special defense power on that eagle right there. And then we're going to have uh, Mr. Mr. Aragorn take a swing. 11 for 2 plus in power, so an 11 for 3. Ooh, a 17. Should hit. Hmm. Hmm. I do have a theme team, but uh, it's probably going to hit. So, uh, how much damage is he dealing? Can the Eagles use it, though? Uh, 3. Oh, that's true. I'd have to do it with somebody that's uh, not one of the Eagles. <laughs> You said three damage? So I'll be going to click. It will do three damage, yeah. Okay. Cool. And then, for my fifth and final action, although technically I could use six, we're going to have Mr. Faramir also take a swing on that eagle. He's going to be a 10 for two exploit weakness here. Ooh, hits a 19. That will hit. Pretty for crazy. Another two. I'll go to click six. Oh, that's nine. And that is, that is it. That's all I can do this turn. All right. Roll for willpower on my eagle. Roll for leadership with my legless. Uh, you know what I realized about Tariel after I decided not to attack with her is she ignores characters for targeting. So, Ooh, she can, yeah, she can shoot, right sorry, an eagle. Um, which I think I'm probably gonna do since these guys are double tokened. I still don't know what exactly to do with Legolas. Eight speed. He does have the transporter team ability, or the why do I always say team ability? The transporter ability. Um, so he could go somewhere. Six, seven, eight. Which for anyone that doesn't know, that's a super old thing. It gave you move and attack. Move and attack also not being a thing. It basically gives you hypersonic speed. You modified your attack value minus two when you used it. Yeah. That was the transporter. So there was wing transporter, dolphin transporter, and boot symbol transporter. Just like all the normal speed symbols, but that was like their extra version of themselves. Yeah. Not terrible, it was all right. Yeah. It was neat. It wasn't terrible. It just gave you an option. So it's like they always had move and attack, which was cool. Hmm. Options I... are nice. People like options. I think the tell. best he can get is here and then shoot straight mm. down. He'd have three range when he does so, but uh, shooting straight down would probably be my only option. And from that square, I don't think I can get Tariel over there without not getting an attack with her. So we're going to do that. We will move and attack. Uh, Legolas... He will have a a solid eight attack for this. Shooting okay. at uh what what's the defense of these three dudes right now? So Gondorian has a fifteen defense, Faramir is a seventeen defense, and Gandalf is a sixteen defense. Okay. 
We've got two lightning bolts, so we'll target uh, Gondorian and Gandalf with okay. eight attack. I believe three damage, yeah. Eight attack, three damage. Let's see what Legolas can do. Does a 13 hit? No? Okay. Mm, that that will, um, that will miss. He will theme himself because he can now. That's a good call. Uh, it's, well, it's showing mm. a 7 on my screen, but the the number that appeared in the chat is a 9. Yes, it is It is a 3 and a 9 for sure. Um, so that'll hit 17s. Uh, that'll hit, uh, hit everybody you targeted. Technically, it would hit anyone that you were going to target. Let's see. Uh, Gandalf does have to roll super senses, however, so... Okay. Give it a second. Ah, you got it. Um, man, I know Gandalf's going to be a lot harder to deal with later. I don't really want to make him any better earlier on. So we'll just deal all three to the Gondorian dude. All through to the Gondorian soldier. And once you've Gondorian, you never go back and he is dead. He has died. Good, good. Uh, I will finish Legolas's move and attack, uh, putting him right there. And then my Tariel will running shot to here. Let's see where the direct diagonal. I think it's just this guy that I can target. I don't. Well, you see through characters. Yeah, I yeah I'll see through the eagle. But that's the direct diagonal. I don't know if I can... Oh, that's a ledge, too. So, yeah, I can see all three of them. Um, yeah. Energy explosion. Not a mm. bad option. Not the best. Because my eagle's right there. And he's not... He, he will be the most likely to get hit. So, I'll just triple target those three guys. And okay. hope that I roll. Uh, Faramir is stealthed okay. right now. Yeah. I will target old white man. <laughs> is that what you named? <laughs> yeah, that's what I named Candle. Okay. I will target him and... Uh, are you gone? That, yeah, are you gone? Uh, I'll target those two with my, my 10 for 3. Sounds good. Ooh, that will hit. That will definitely hit. I don't want that. I will theme prob it with Harry Drum here. Okay. 17s. Still hits them both. We had to give it a shot. All right. Gandalf needs to roll his super of senses. He fails. So um, you can deal it up however you want. All does do either of them have reducers? Does Aragorn have reducers? Neither of them have reducers. Aragorn has oh Aragorn also has super senses. I forgot about that. Sorry. Okay. Okay, so Gandalf's the only one you can deal damage to, so he will take three. Take three. You'll go to click four, and then you will take one mystics damage. Wow. What a broken team ability. Deal now Gandalf's got that 17 defend um, to these guys that all have 17 defense. I have to clear my eagles and my murky boys, and then it goes back oh. to you. All right. Time for Aryagon to roll his leadership. He succeeds! Yay! Yay! Kind of want him to not succeed, not going to lie, but whatever. Uh, we'll take it off of Faramir. I'm going to have Gandalf... Oh, I should just punch the eagle. I should just punch the eagle. Well, oh, Gandalf has range. Faramir doesn't have range. Oh, no, he does have range. Okay, yeah, I guess we'd be able to shoot either eagle, I suppose. Um, f 
first and have Harry Drum sidestep back to here. Wow. Yeah. Uh, let's have Gandalf just. Yeah, we'll have this other guy punch the eagle. Punch that bottom eagle here. See what we get. It is a 10. Ooh, 16. Uh, 16 will hit that eagle because it is on. Nice. Yeah, it's on its nice. 15 defense. One dead great eagle. All right. And then my boy Gandalf here. He's got seven hole range. Whoa. Perfect. Just who we wanted to shoot, I guess. He'll perplex up his, uh, well, I guess we'll go attack value. So he's a 10. 10 for 2, shooting on that top Merkwood guard. 10 for it's two. 16. Super senses. Uh, he'll take 2 damage. Yeah, and I'll click go ahead three. and get a second token. We'll clear Aryagon. And Harry Drum. All right. Got leadership with Legolas. Willpower with Tariel. Oh, she gets it. Uh, I'll remove the blue token. Um, man, I'd kind of like her to get somewhere better. Four, five. I don't think she really. Well, did she change any when she went to click two? Still has running shot. Speed dropped by two, but now she has incapacitate. Um, huh. It's not great. Not great. Um. Let's start with my murky boys. So they're both, I believe they're both on click three now. Yeah, so they're both on click three. That means they're both rocking a nine attack with two damage with enhancement. Um, stealth and super senses. Neither of those really matter right now, but let's see. I can see Faramir and Old White Man with uh, that one. This one can see that direct diagonal. So he should... It doesn't really look like What's it. What's your role? I think it's clicking, clipping that. Um, what's that? Evan. Oh, okay. Um... And then this guy's still in stealth, right? He is still in stealth. That is correct. Okay. So we will start by charging with the top eagle, the only eagle left. He'll charge mm. down to here and attempt okay. to hit the stealth man with my, what is he, a 10 with blades and exploit. <sighs> That will hit uh, Faramir, 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 Faramir. Do you get much worse? Do you get much better? Yeah, you know what? You can you you can go ahead and and roll roll my blades. See how much damage you do? Yeah, blades. You will take. One All right, damage. we will take the we will take the one. We'll go to click two. Okay. Does he we'll still have one stealth? damage? He does still have stealth. Good. So. Th that did nothing for me. Um, that's fine. Uh, let's see. Legolas, he's got this charge. Uh, Tariel. Hmm. Uh, I don't think she's going to be able to position any better. Could just have Legolas book it down here. Yeah. 
we'll do that. Tariel will target. We'll go with Aragorn, uh, Gandalf, and not that guy because I can't see him. So she'll just target the two that she can see with. Okay. Uh, I still have three damage. I have incapacitate and three damage. It won't deal any damage to Gandalf if I do Gandalf. it. So yeah, I'll just I'll just target with normal damage, no incap. Will a seventeen hit either? Uh, it'll hit them both. I'll roll super senses on Aragorn. Okay. How do you want to deal the damage? Uh, we'll deal all three to Aragorn. Okay. So I still don't quite want to activate Gandalf. Send to click four. Legolas is going to use his transport team ability, or transport ability, uh, to carry Tariel. Let's see. One, two, three... Six, seven, eight. Yeah, that's fine. We'll go like that. And then my murky boys are going to take some pot shots. Uh, looks like this one can only see Gandalf, and this one... I don't know if this one can even see Gandalf. I would say he could see Gandalf and Aragorn. It looks it's pretty close, but I'd say it's like right there. Let's see. They've got seven range, one lightning bolt. So we'll go with the top one first. Targeting Gandalf. With my solid, solid nine attack, getting an enhancement up to three damage. Will a sixteen hit? Uh, that will miss by one. Okay. And then my bottom one will target Aragorn as well. Or not as well. Mm. We will just target him. And that will also miss. So that is my whole turn. Pretty solid. Pretty solid turn. Yes, very. I'm going to have Aragorn go ahead and roll leadership. Ah, he will finally fail. He now has shape change super senses. Very, very excited by that prospect. We're going to perplex up his attack value with Gandalf. Gandalf, sadly, right now, not on any of his white wizard clicks. So he's just going to sort of chill wherever he's at right now. We're going to have Aragorn. Uh, oh, well. No way, that guy lost willpower, so he's not going to roll for willpower. I, I wanted to roll for his willpower, but Aragorn kept rolling for leadership. So, everyone's going to charge. One, two, three to there. Coming after my bird? Coming after your bird, bruh. Wow. It is going to be a 10 to your 17 with empower for three damage. Ooh, that will hit. Super Knockback. Senses. It doesn't exist. Well, I'm a bigger You're character. also giants. So you wouldn't have gotten... Yeah, yeah. you're also big anyways, yeah. Ah, fudge so sickles. Roll that six. Roll. No good. <laughs> no good. Uh, now we'll go ahead and have Aragorn's right-hand man, Faramir, go ahead and take a swing at the bird. Ah, that mm. will also hit a 17. Hmm... Hopefully, it does not make the super senses this time. does not. Uh, now we'll go ahead and roll for that sweet, sweet blades damage. Ooh, three. I think that's better than what we had anyways. Yeah, it is. Okay. So it's better than nothing. Going to click four. Still have charge exploit. Lost my super senses. Now I'm on willpower and no blades. Did Harry Drum sidestep this turn or sidestep last turn? Uh, he has not this turn. It's not this turn. Yeah, so we're going to sidestep Harry Drum to here. And then it will shoot the bird. Okay. It is a 10 for 2. My 16. Ooh. Will that hit. Will hit. For how much? 
for two whole damage. All right, take me to click six. Then we're going to clear old Gandalf here. And it's your go. All right. Leadership with Legless. I'll take that off of the only oh. person he can. And willpower with Tariel. Remove mm. another token from her. All the good snow. Wow. And Most then, impressive. Uh, my eagle also has willpower. Let's see if we can get a hat trick. Nope. Money? No, not quite. <clears throat> Darn. Would have been impressive. Darn. Um. Let's see. These both can see Gandalf. Let's go ahead and just attempt it. Um, what's Gandalf's defense value right now? He is a 17 right now with defend. 17. Uh, the top Merkwood boy taking a shot. Need an 8. Oh, Merkwood boy. Ooh, he gets it. Hit for 3. Take Gandalf to click 5, and he will take a mystical damage. Mystical. Let's see. Does that change him? Nope, not really. Um, And then my bottom murky boy will do the same targeting Gandalf again uh, does a 17 hit a 17 does not hit he is now an 18 okay so that one will miss let's see here um, great eagle it's a 9 for 2 it's going to attempt to hit the guy that's in stealth. Okay. Faramir. With my big old nine attack, that'll hit a 16. Oh, uh, that actually might hit Faramir. That will hit Faramir. You deal two damage, so he'll take one. Good. We'll go to click Good. three. I will attempt to sidestep my eagle. You are one size bigger, so you'll get plus... Oh, you got it easily. Um, got it easily. Where do I even want to go with him, though? Let's move. It's actually... I don't even need to move him. Yeah, because yeah, she ignores characters, yeah, so it's kind of... there. Um, oh, okay. <laughs> <clears throat> for now uh faramir did i knock him off stealth with that last hit you did you oh, did good so tariel running shot to here finally able to fully triple target although i guess i could include this guy mm. we'll go aragorn harry drum and Faramir. Uh, no, we'll go Aragorn, Gandalf, and Harry Drum. Um, Aragorn, Gandalf, and Harry Drum. Gotcha. And we'll we'll use in cap for this one. Ooh. So a okay. ten for potentially action tokens. Seventeen. We'll hit seventeen. So Harry Drum and I believe Aragorn would get action tokens. Yes. Okay. Does Aragorn have his uh, shape change? Or was that? Oh, he did have shape change. Excuse me. No, he did have shape change. Okay, he would have missed it. Good, good. I forgot that, though. All right. Uh, and then Legolas will clear himself. And that is it. That was all the guys on my team. Okay. You can do some Aragorn leadership here. Who fails, gets shape change. Gonna do some uh Faramir willpower. Ooh, also fails it. Yikes. Not a big fan of that, but it is what it is, as they say, as they say. Gandalf. He's got he's on a shadow fax click, so he's got that that charge flurry. But 
there is no one to shoot a dude, take out this, uh, this what's his face guy. So not a big fan of that. Not a big fan. Hmm. Let's oh, I haven't been rolling willpower with my eagle the whole time. They're giant size, so mm. they get the uh, three through six. Cool. Oh, they actually, yeah, they should have good willpower too. Yeah. Uh, all right, I'm gonna have Gandalf's gonna try to charge, break away. See if we can get it. Oh, we do. Very cool. One. Two, you just go one, two, three there. We're just gonna charge flurry. See, uh, see what we can do here. We're a ten attack. You dare? Ooh, that will hit a seventeen. Seventeen might hit super senses. Oh, for how much? Oh, that's weird. Uh, for four damage on old Toriel there. One, two, three, four. Does it? From nice, 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 nice. Um, and he does not have giant reach, so he does not finish his flurry anywhere. Uh, he has that wits. He can also now choose a damage power. So he'll choose probability control, and then we will outwit something on somebody. We'll outwit the... What does Legolas have right now? Uh, he's still on his charge blades uh, leadership super senses. Mm. We will outwit his charge then. And we'll clear the rest of the team. Okay. Willpower on my big bird. He's actually got two sets of willpower now because it's on his last click and also... right. From uh, that is pretty cool. Uh, the so the listener knows you technically don't, you only possess will, you can only possess <laughs> one power from one place, even if like you would get it in two different places. Technically, right. I don't get so two it's like, rolls. even though Simeon has, yeah, he doesn't get two rolls. It's sort of like if you had shape change and then equipped like a Venom symbiote, you don't get two shape change rolls, you just have you can only use one source of the power, but yeah. Mm. My murky boys are kind of stuck. My great eagle. Gandalf has invincible right now. Is that his stop click thing that he's on? Yes. So it does have yet. invincible. So I can't actually deal any damage with my great eagle. So my eagle's just going to attempt to hit. Uh, I'm going to say Aragorn. That seems like the best option. Whoop. I gave him a token. So my nine for two into Aragorn's... Okay, uh, he's going to roll his Aragorn shape change. Oh, it fails. Like how Aragorn often fails. Will a 15 hit? Oh, well, 15 will actually just miss by one. Ah. Yeah. Surprise, surprise. Um, let's roll for sidestep breakaway. No, I am stuck there. Mm. Legolas has a few options. He could actually still use his move and attack. Um, would that be worth it? Not really. Dropping down to an eight attack is kind of silly. Uh, he'll just tempt to shoot at old white man here uh, uh yes so my 10 for three into your 18 Ooh, that is an eight that would hit however gandalf chose prob so he will prob it aha that is uh -huh. a three <laughs> and a five so that will hit but uh, aragorn can see you so he will prob it i am down to one theme prob left all right. Does a 16 uh, all, hit? All part of the plan. That will just miss by two. Okay. The dose. I will throw my my second theme team prob at it. Yes, this will be your second theme team prob. Mm -hmm. Ah, that will just hit. 
But thankfully, Harry Drum is on a ledge and can see you. And I will use my last theme team prob. Six. How much? Yeah. So I will clear the two murky boys. And that will be the end of my turn. All right. Perfect. 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 This is where Gandalf uh, does what the cool kids do. And he, it says he whips a nay, nay. Uh, we are going to, yeah, we're going to go ahead, have Gandalf choose probability control. He's going to choose preemptively this turn. You want to make sure he hits and then he's going to outwit Legolas's defense here. And then he's going to charge, bloop, blop, one square to here, and flurry on Legolas. It is a 10 to a 17. Ah, that will hit for four damage. Let's see, what does good old Legolas have? Super senses. I'm going to need it. Ah, yes, we outwitted that with Gandalf's outwit. Oh, I would have rolled a four, so it didn't matter. Uh, Going to click Uh, four damage, so going to click five. On click five, uh, yes. I've got combat reflexes with a 16, mm. so it'll be an 18 for close. That's not good for me. Uh, let's try to finish that up. Second attack. Ah, mm. doesn't matter. I believe Does I not will matter. Use my last theme team prop with Legolas to. <laughs> there you go. It's a good, it's a good have call. A chance. Ooh, that will miss. And then Gandalf will use his normal prob to roll that sweet, sweet eight to miss it all. Ladies and gentlemen, of course he does. Thank you, Gandalf. All right. That was Gandalf. We also forgot to roll leadership. So I still have shape change because I forgot to roll leadership, which is cool. Uh, Sidestep with Harry Drum to here. Yeah, shooting at Legolas. 10 to a 16. There's our eight. For two damage two whole damage all right that'll take me to click seven my most dangerous click yet and now we begin the long winding road to murdering some fellas here aragorn would get seven range if he chooses to do that free action so we're gonna faramir try to take out this guy faramir's on click three So he's a nine attack. So yeah, let's see what Faramir can do. Ooh. That will hit hit my my 15 defense. Nice. Getting rid of the the last of the eagles. I hear there's only two. Now Aragorn. Ooh, he's actually one square out. He cannot actually shoot this guy. Rats. All right. Well. Leave Aragorn there then, because he doesn't want to get shot or anything. So, uh, yeah, we'll say it's your go. All right. Uh, My murky guys. One has energy explosion, and the other has stealth. So one can actually move. He's got running shot now, but he's not really going to be able to move anywhere important. Legolas, probably the, the only important character on my team still. Um... He's going to perplex his attack up to an 11, and he's going to blade good old Gandalf there. Yeah. Mm. That is mm. unfortunate. It is. Uh, it this is. top guy is going to target. Let's go after Faramir with energy explosion. Okay. And, yeah. We'll see how that goes. Nine attack. Into stuff. Nope. Mm. Bottom guy. Shooting at the same person, I think. Let's see. Should. Yeah. Nine attack. That'll hit an 18. Ooh. For how much? Uh, with the enhancement three. I am going to give Faramir an action token to once per game ignore damage that would be dealt. Ah, good, good. 
Uh, He's Legolas still alive. Alive, alive. Ignores characters. So he'll just sidestep to here. Mm. Probably won't matter. And that is all I can do. Okay. We are going to go ahead and roll for willpower on Faramir. Get it. Roll for leadership on Aragorn. You will fail it. So get shape change this turn. Strike change. Gandalf is going to choose. Uh, what's Legolas rocking right now? Uh, like seven. Sidestep blades, <laughs> 17 super senses, and two damage with perplex. Uh, Gandalf already has that wit, so he will choose perplex and probability control. Will outwit leggy loss defense, and then we'll perplex down his defense, and then we'll have Harry Drum. Oh, uh, well, actually, no. I want to perplex up Aragorn's range, so now he'll choose range combat expert, and finally get a eight range to shoot that guy right there. So. With range combat expert and Aragorn being on, I believe, click four. Yeah, click four. It'll be a 10 for three. Shoot at this guy. Yeah, the top murky boy. Super senses. <laughs> da, 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 da. Oh, he's dead. How much damage? For three. For three. I'm assuming he's dead. He's on click four. Yeah, it's his second to last click. Yeah, so. it sounds about right. All right, so we're gonna have Harry Drum go ahead and take a shot at Legolas. Be a ten to the eighteen hindering. Oof. Super Hits. senses. You outwitted my super senses. Yeah, yeah, I outwitted take it again. All out of there. Sidestep Harry Drum up. I guess we move up. Paramir to there, I suppose. Oh boy. And it is your turn. We're going to clear Gandalf, I guess. My murky boy is going to shoot at Faramir. All right. That'll hit a 17. I would be a 17, but I'm in hindering terrain. So uh, I'm an 18. That is all I can do. All right, uh, Aragorn, we're going to not roll leadership to keep his shape change. We're going to sidestep Harry Drum to here. Gandalf is also going to move. He also has some dope freaking range. Oh, actually, Gandalf has move and attack. So uh, let's go ahead. Let's try to first we're going to roll willpower with Faramir. See if he can get it. No, okay. Gandalf's going to try to move and attack. One, two, three, four, seven. Eight squares to there. It's going to only get out an eight attack. See what happens. Ooh. That'll hit a 17. Ooh, that'll hit a 17. Super senses. No. For no. four damage. For, for one damage. Okay. For one damage. That will kill the murky boy. The last of the murky boys. Ladies, ladies and gentlemen, another epic epic Golden Age brawl has come to a close. Uh, I've won. And the next ones are going to be... So this is going to be the... I guess I don't even know if it's going to be a tiebreaker round. I'll have to double check. Uh, it's not going to be a tiebreaker, but it's going to be for the end of the Golden Age... Could potentially be the end of Thursday Throwdown, I suppose. But it is going to be the end of this, all the independent properties that aren't Marvel or DC or whatever. So it is going to be, I will be building out of the first Yu-Gi-Oh set, just the one that's YGO. And then Simeon will be building out of Yu-Gi-Oh 2, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh 3, and then Battle of the Millennium. So... The original Yu-Gi-Oh! has 62 figures, and then these three sets combined have 62 
elements in them, I guess is the nicest way to say it. So this is pretty much the fairest we thought we could do it with all the Yu-Gi-Oh stuff. So I'll build out of Yu-Gi-Oh 1. Simeon is building out of Yu-Gi-Oh 2, Yu-Gi-Oh 3, and Battle of the Millennium. Get those votes in, guys. And as always, happy trails.